into hi guys welcome back to another video if you want to control any dc motor using fly sky transmitter and receiver you have to use this kind of breast speed controllers which are very costly as an alternative solution we had already uploaded few videos where we used Arduino board and BTS motor driver to control the DC motor in the same way. So in today's video, I'll be showing you one more method to control the DC motor without using Arduino and programming. Also, if you guys are planning to participate in Robo race, Robo soccer events, and couldn't afford expensive breast ESCs, you can easily go with this solution, which is cost effective and also gives precise control. So make sure you watch the complete video till the end. Now, directly we'll jump into the component list. As a controller, I'll be using this Flysky FS i6 transmitter and receiver for demonstration I have selected this 12 volts Johnson gear motor and for the motor driver we'll be using BTS 7960 which can handle up to 24 volts and 43 amp DC motors so this video is still applicable if you are using this type of high current e-bike motors for any of your projects as a supply for the DC motor I am using this 12 volts lipo battery this receiver and the motor driver both the components need 5 volts for their operation for this you can use any type of 5 volt source in my case I am using this buck converter which converts 12 volts to 5 volts. Next, we need a 5 volts servo motor. So, in my case, I am using this SG90 model. At last, some jumper wires and breadboard for easy connections. In this servo motor, we only need the controller circuit. So before starting with the connections, we'll take it out. So after disconnecting the motor, we will be left out with this circuit board. Which we will be using further. Now let us start doing the connections. Moving on to the connections. First, I'll take the 5 volts supply from the buck converter onto the breadboard. So this line will be 5 volts and this line will be ground. The VCC and ground of this BTS driver goes to the 5 volt supply. R enable and L enable pins both will go to plus 5 volt.
the RPWM and LPWM main control pins should be connected to the controller circuit we removed from the servo motor. On the other side of the driver, I'll connect the motor to M plus and M minus terminals. And this B plus and B minus terminals are for the motor supply. So in my case, I'll connect to the 12 volts LiPo battery later. So coming to the receiver, this also needs 5 volts for the operation. So we have to use this B slash VCC port. Here, the middle pin is positive 5 volts. So which goes to the same common 5 volts on the breadboard. And the bottom pin is ground, which goes to ground of the breadboard. And finally, this servo connector should be connected to the receiver outputs. I'm connecting to channel one. This can be connected to any channel based on your requirements. Here, the signal pin, which is the orange one, should come at the top. The brown wire should go to the bottom. That's all the connections. Now let's move on to the working. First switch on the transmitter and I'll be connecting the 12 volt power supply for the motor driver and to the buck converter. So here we can see the motor is already rotating even though I'm not moving any sticks on the transmitter. This is because the encoder in the servo circuit is not in the center position. For that, keep rotating the encoder in either directions slowly until the motor stops running. So this will be our center position. Now Using the transmitter stick, I can control the motor rotation along with the speed. So compared to the Arduino based solution, this method, I can feel it's more smooth and precise. So this is how you can make your own DIY brushed speed controller which is cost effective. So in my next video I'll be showing you how to make the RoboRace or RoboSoccer robots using this solution. I hope this video will be helpful and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below. For circuit diagram visit the link in the description box. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next video.